It's time to dive back into the quiet one you server, a box with all of the power and none of the noise. Who am I kidding? It's a Pentium and a low end Radeon Pro GPU. Ah well, let's get this done. Time to rebuild the system with better cable management, silent power supply and more. First of all, I decided stupidly to go with the Quartermaster 1U power supply. Installing this was easy as it was designed for such a chassis. Some cable management later and it boots. I better check all the settings are good. This power supply would have made life easier, but unfortunately I forgot my number one rule. Don't use Cooler Master power supplies. Two hours of benching and this unit was toast. Magic smoke and all that. <sighs> The system proved to be very unstable, it would boot fine, but even after idling for a minute, it would lock up and refuse remote access. Thankfully, the power supply leaving this mortar realm didn't take anything else with it. Considering this board isn't the easiest to source, I got really lucky. So now it's time to throw in a DC to DC solution, what I should have done from the start. Moving the board over gives me more room on the power supply side. Still leaving enough room for the Radeon WX2100. Originally I figured I would use the HD Plex 400W DC to DC, but I figured that would be way overkill, and besides, I need the power supply again for my NFC Skyreach build. Again, more cable management. In such a small box, cable management is key. To ensure the best cooling, I routed all the cables after the CPU cooler and memory in terms of airflow. Once the intake air flows through the heatsink, it can go wherever. Overly thick ATX and CPU power extensions were sourced. This is one of those cases where sleeving isn't really the best idea, as it makes the cabling too thick. I needed to make, get the box working so beggars can't be choosers. A noctual fan extension and a few splitters will also help manage the cables. The front panel ribbon was very difficult to install, apart from the individual little connectors to connect this to the uh, motherboard, the cable itself refused to route properly without being zip tied quite heavily to the other cables in the system. A noctua fan extension and a few splitters also helps manage the cables. Cable ties are the small form factor nut's best friend. Cable wrangling for the win.
now time to install the HDplex 160W AC to DC power supply. Passively cooled, so no noise. Let's just figure out where to put this. The compact Dynamo Mini prototype goes in, and it's time for even more cable management. The jump cut, because it turns out my SD card is too slow for sustained 1080p60, so it's back to a slovenly 30 frames we go. Damn it. Connecting the power between the AC to DC and the DC to DC is a regular HD Plex cable. Nothing too fancy, it's a server after all. Hmm, making final adjustments and considering remanaging some of the cables. Fun fact, I broke these side cutters the next day. It's a good excuse for more tools. It's time to mount the AC inlet. After deciding what connector I wanted to use, I decided to mount it at a right angle to the back, mostly because it was the easiest option. It's also ideal if I choose to go to a shorter depth rack at any point. The small form factor reduction really is quite strong. And I'm done. It's as quiet as I expected. It's the quietest actively cooled box in the rack. Quieter than the Noctua modded gigabit switch, and definitely quieter than the 2U NAS. Mounted to the rails, servicing is easy. Four screws, and we're in. It's not the prettiest server, but who really cares? Well that's it finished, thanks for watching, I'll catch you on our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram feeds linked below, on the SFF Network forum or on our Discord channel, also linked below. See you soon.